Hello, and welcome to this week's What's Happening, where the staff at The Chimes takes a moment to review the top five headlines of the week from across the nation and around the globe. At number five for the week, we have Parents Agonize as Bodies Pulled from Mass Graves in Mexico by Tracy Wilkinson of the Los Angeles Times. After 43 university students went missing on September 26th after they were attacked by police from Iguala in Mexico. So far, 28 bodies have been found in mass graves, though the bodies have yet to be identified as those of the missing students. At number four, we have Obama announces plans for new Ebola screenings of airline passengers by Molly Hennessy Fisk and Michael Muscall of the Los Angeles Times. Obama announced in a meeting with reporters that U.S. officials will implement screening plans for passengers. After meeting with advisors from Homeland Security and National Security, the president said that he considers the spread of Ebola to be a top priority. The measures will be announced soon, according to an administration official. Adrian Peterson Foundation filed contradictory financial records. By Josh Katsowitz of the NFL is our number three pick for the week. After being placed on the commissioner's exempt list after being accused of abusing a child, Peterson's All Day Foundation has filed contradictory financial records. These records describe a large donation to Straight from the Heart Ministries, which the organization claims it had never received, in addition to a relative of Peterson purchasing a hotel room with a foundation card that was used for a sex party back in 2011. Our number two pick for the week is Two Dead After Shooting in Downtown St. Louis by Kevin Colleen of CBS. St. Louis Police Chief Sam Dodson said that the shooting was a result of a drug deal at the downtown intersection after police found bags of marijuana and cocaine at the scene. After a brief car chase involving an Oldsmobile Alero and a Dodge Caliber, an individual inside of the Alero fired at five people in the Dodge Caliber. Three of the individuals are being questioned by police. And for our number one spot for the week, we have Supreme Court Delivers Tacit Win to Gay Marriages by Adam Liptuk of the New York Times. On Monday, the Supreme Court let rulings stand in Indiana, Oklahoma, Utah, Virginia, and Wisconsin, bringing the total number of states that allow gay marriages to 25 across the nation. Follow the Chimes on Twitter, at Chimes Newspaper, on Instagram, at Chimes Newspaper, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us below. Thanks for watching Chimes Multimedia.